Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada chat. Oh hi, it's Hello. episode 19. Yes. Wow, we're really getting up there. We are. Last time Gino won the HOH. <laughs> and he nominated Moose and Summer. Not Moose and Summer. Yeah, Pawns. Pawns Supposedly. Dawes. I mean, his backdoor, his plan this week is to backdoor Marty. Oh, Marty? That's correct. Oh. So, he didn't want to put him up right away because Marty has been a very comp good competitor this season, so. Well, Summer's kind of petty. Um, Summer is on this show <laughs> because, because a co-worker... So Right. That she doesn't like, loves this show. <laughs> yeah. So that just tells you what you need to know about Summer's pettiness. Well, Gino tried to keep it, like, not snarky, mm, but... It was a little bit like, oh, when he was all like, I'm putting you up here because you never try. You never do anything. I'm going to make you try. You always throw everything. Yeah. All right, so then uh, Gino tries to smooth things over with Moose, and Moose says, you should have put up Josh. You kind of made a stupid mistake here. Ouch. But did he? I mean, obviously no one's going to be happy about going up on the block, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. All right, well. <laughs> you would make it your mission to ruin that person's life. You, I'm petty? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's time to pick players for the veto. This okay. is like the soonest in any episode that there was POV pick. They got other stuff to get to. Powers that won't be used. Well, you know what? <coughs> I really like the wheel this season. I, I do, too. I think it's much better than the stupid, you know... Pick it out of a bag? Yeah, I don't like that anymore. Well, I'm just curious, like, what happens if you land on a blank space? I'm guessing you just... Spin again. I was going to say roll again. Spin again, right? Yeah. Because there's a lot of blank spaces on there now. There's a lot of blank house guests. Too. Yeah. <laughs> so... Let's get to it. Moose goes first, and Moose gets house guest choice. He picks Josh. Okay. <laughs> and then Summer also gets house guest choice. She picks JC Lynn? Lynn. Okay, so her back story arch here. nemesis. I know, right? Gino was all like, I don't want anyone picking Marty for this mm -hmm. POV competition. Um, so he told Moose and Summer ahead of time, if you get house guest choice, Moose, I think it would be a good idea for you to pick Josh. Summer, I think you should pick JC Lynn mm -hmm. because, you know, then we'd have all strong people competing. Um, and not Marty. Yeah. Summer, They're also afraid of Marty with his bum leg. I mean, he's done really well in competitions. He's got a lot of cuts on his head. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell's going on in there? I don't know. There? Can you imagine, though, if Summer did pick Marty? I mean, that really wouldn't <laughs> it would serve have been wild. very well, would it? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so Helena... Was chosen by the wheel. Gino. Yes. All right, so Moosh and... Moosh. Moosh. That's, uh, I'm shipping Moose and Josh. <laughs> Moosh is a great couple name. It is, Moosh. I like that. They're celebrating, uh, they think they're in good shape, the odds are forever in their favor because the only problem scenario that they see here is if Helena wins the yeah. POV. I mean, everybody knows Helena is very close to Marty, he picked her in the chain of safety, and he was telling everybody that the reason he put her mom up was because her mom was saying he would nominate Kevin and Helena if he won HOH, and Marty was all like, those are my best friends. So... There's no way Helena can win, right? They're pretty confident that she won't because she's been really bad in comps so she's far. She's clumsy. She's yeah. Helena. All right, so it's a uh, sponsored tie-in. Oh. It's a toothbrush comp. They have some dirty mouths set up. <laughs> this is not an Orbit sponsorship. Oh. <laughs> they have some... Um, it almost looked like when you go to the dentist when you're a little kid and they're like... Look at these bacterias. They're yeah. like little bugs in your mouth. Kind of reminded me of like brace brackets. Too. Yeah, kind of. Maybe they that's what they were. And they just well, said, I think it's supposed to be like gunk. It is gunk, but yeah. I think maybe that's like some dentist's aid or something. I don't know. But anyway, you had to use your giant uh, water flosser to blast the so, gunk off of the teeth. Like a pool uh, water gun. Yeah, you, you had know, to you fill up the flosser up, and then... And then yeah. 
and Kevin was a damn tooth. That's a lot of fun. Kevin was hosting the competition. He had some gold fillings in there, too. His <laughs> under, undersuit. Oh, yeah. All right, so... Once you fill up your flosser... You gotta spray off the gunk. You gotta walk across this balance beam. Yeah. And then spray. And it didn't seem like the, the flossers held that much water. It seems like you just get, like, one good blast, and then you gotta refill yeah. again. Well... <clears throat> that was kind of boring, honestly. Well, it seemed like there was a bit of a learning curve to it, too, because at first everyone was just like, Rrr. but yeah. you really had to, like, Ugh. You, Yeah, you had to really put some oomph behind it. You had to put it. some force behind it, because you yeah. had to knock the gunk off of the teeth. Exactly. <laughs> so once you did that, then you had to trip over the balance beam on the way back <laughs> and fall into the ice-cold water pool mm -hmm. and build a tooth puzzle. Oh, Made out of the light foam. And it was like a, a floating, floating puzzle. Yeah. So it was very easy to knock it over. This looked like it was going to be super easy, but it was not. Yeah. Mm. You got to be still in that water. So you're not, you can't be all blah, 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 blah. Be still, water. Yeah. And uh, JC Lynn and Moose were the last to finish the blasting, but it didn't matter because it kind of equalized when they got to the puzzle part. I mean, of the Josh thing. was like the first one to get to that puzzle, and he did not win. Well, we later found <laughs> out that he also threw the competition, so that explains a lot. All right, well, but it still was hard to build that. Yeah, it looked puzzle. tricky with it floating and all. Yeah, so it took a long time. But Helena won. Wow. I'm really happy for her because she really wanted to win. Did nobody she else want to win? No. Like, a lot of people wanted to win here. Oh. Pretty sure Josh was the only one throwing it. People wanted this plan to happen for Marty to go up as the backdoor target and they could yeah. just get him out of here. But Helena does not want that. Well, JC and Moosh <laughs> were like, oh, fun. Now what? <laughs> Was it JC or was it Josh? Josh, uh, I mean, they were both like, Joosh. everybody was all like, <laughs> oh no, what are we going to do now? Because everybody knows that Helena is close to Marty. And as expected, Helena tells Gino. Kevin. Kevin. She tells Kevin that she doesn't want to use the veto. She wants to save old Marty and his bum knee. And Kevin's like, yeah. That's I good. know. That's a good I mean, idea. Honestly, it's it's a good move for them to keep Marty around because Marty is not targeting them. No. So it makes sense. And Margie, Margie, <laughs> Marty, Martin, if you will, is a big fat shield in front of pretty much True. everybody because he's enemy number one. Yeah, people are going to be targeting him. All right. So Helena has a talk with Gino and says, um, "I don't want to get rid of Marty. <laughs> I'm not going to use it." She tells. Gino, because, okay, Helena, Gino, Kevin, Marty, and JC Lynn mm -hmm. are supposed to be in this final five alliance together, right. which is BS at this point. But, <laughs> well, yeah. Helena is saying, like, if you get rid of Marty, you're going to be the next big target that everybody's going after. Oh, no. You're, you're going to be shield. next, Gino. Yeah, and Gino Gino's said, like, oh, no, my plan is poop. He said, okay. Yeah. It's really easy to, like, convince him of things and change his mind. He's definitely, like, the Pete Davidson character on Saturday Night Live. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, so Gino has a talk with JC, and he says... Yeah, this isn't so bad. I mean, uh, I keep getting things... confused by you calling her JC. JC Lynn. <laughs> things happen. Sometimes things happen for a reason. Yeah, and, he was uh, saying like everybody except Helena would have used the veto, but the fact that Helena won, maybe it's a sign from God. Also, Helena <laughs> said she's not using the veto. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. So <laughs> seems like he's That's accepted that. that Marty will be staying, and their new target is Moose. Okay, that's that. So now there's a backyard lockdown. Whoa, what? They open up the grate and they come in like little cockroaches. And they say, Ugh, what's, what's new different? in here? Why would they do that? Were what they expecting mean? something to They've be new? They've been looking for new stuff like all the time. Hmm, sounds a little sus to me. So they notice a bouquet of flowers. I mean, I feel like Big Brother made this super obvious. <laughs> you I could not so. make this more obvious. So everybody's... You know, look at the flowers. Like, Everybody seems to be more concerned if the f the flowers are real or fake. Yeah. So, J.C. Lynn looked at the flowers and she was like, eh, whatever. And then is like, hey, it's it's probably the flowers, right? 
did the diary room tell her, hey, why don't you go look at yeah, the flowers? Yeah, why don't you go check those out again? So she goes back to the flowers and she finds a little duty nugget on there Ew. with a phone number on it. Five 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 one two one two. Right. Or was it two one two one? Who cares? One two one two. I think it was one two one two. So she gets the tiniest yoga mat in the world <laughs> and does a couple of poses mm -hmm. because she's got to get in that phone room. She wants to make a phone call, mm -hmm. but she doesn't have a dime. Yeah. All right. She's got to make sure nobody's watching. Right. So she finally sneaks in there and calls. Oh. I know. And they say, like, oh, there's going to be, like, three unlocked doors with keys in there. So mm -hmm. get busy, B. Go get the keys and then come back here for more instructions. But don't let anybody see you do it. Because then... You're donezo. Yeah. <laughs> So she found the doors pretty quickly. She was they, able to get in and out of there without anybody seeing her. She got the keys and she uh, goes back to the phone guy because mm -hmm. she can't stay away. I got to say what a freaking <laughs> bummer it is that none of this was on the feeds. This yeah. would have been entertaining to watch play out, but no, yeah. we didn't get that. All right. Well, she calls back and the guy uh, did this long ass riddle. <laughs> I was like, how is she going to remember all this? Did they really only say that one time? I'm and sure she, it was more than she once. she remembered it? Because if you notice, she had the phone, like, not hung up, but it was just, like, resting on the table. Mm hmm So I'm sure she got to listen to it more than once. They want this thing to be found. Well, duh. <laughs> but it made it seem like, ooh, she was some kind of freaking Mensa genius there. She was like, oh, and this and this, and I It was a math riddle. Yeah, it was 11 minus 5 plus 3. I would have been like, oh, sh I can't do this. I give up. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. Yeah. It's not worth it. <laughs> All right. So, so she figured it out, and that led her to door number 11. All right. So she goes to door number 11, and it's the secret Expedia room. Oh, my God. And Arissa has a video message, and she said. Hello, blank. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on making it this far. Yeah. So she, this is crazy now. This gave me all of the feels from uh, Caitlin. Caitlin. Yeah. <laughs> on BB20. Yeah. She's got five minutes to use the keys to unlock, uh, unlock, to unlock boxes that have puzzle pieces in it. And she's got to put together. This puzzle looked more difficult than the Caitlin Herman puzzle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, not like that difficult. But yeah, she had five she had minutes. Five whole minutes. I mean, what did Caitlin have? Two minutes? I don't remember. That one was also like so easy. It was, but it was um, like seven pieces. This was like a veto puzzle. It was one of those ones where they, um, like when you're going into school for the first time when you're a kid and they like yeah. test you to see. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how to do the uh, the pieces? Yeah. It's very survivor. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's time to unlock the boxes. And what do you know? Every single one she tried worked on the first try. Do you think it was all the same key? Like three of the same keys so they would all open on the first try? No. Again, they want this power to be found. Was it Evan Hansen? <laughs> no, because like every time she reacted, she was like, oh, like it was like on the first try. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But uh, she got all the puzzle pieces out and we were thinking, oh, no, she's not going to make it. She cut it very close. Five seconds to spare. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. So she gets the secret veto and she finds out the rules. It was kind of weird too. It did like this smoke thing. Like I would have been like, get me out of I'm here. This, that. this place is burning up. Yeah. So she finds out that this secret POV can only be used for this week. Oh. Dirt, dirt, dirt. You think she'd be like, oh my God, I can like follow through on Gino's plan. We'll get there. But, um, yeah, it can only be used on this eviction, and if, you, and if you tell anyone before the POV ceremony, you're instantly evicted. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. All right, so she <laughs> kind of freaked out about that. Yeah. So, JC Lynn knows that Helena is not going to be using her power of view. Hell no. So, it all comes down to her if she's going to carry out this backdoor Marty plan But or she not. can't even talk about it with her screw. <laughs> she can't talk. Yeah, so she's trying to talk to Gino about this without, without being like, yeah. I got a secret power. Hey, so what do you think about Marty? What's wrong with you? Are you okay? No, yeah. that's not how he talks. I don't know what that voice was. I'm not good I at mean, the Gino kind voice. of, kind of. 
So, um, that I haven't was... brushed up on my Canadian accents in a no. while. So it's time for the POV ceremony and blah, blah, blah. Why should I use Ananya? And she doesn't use it. Helena does not use her regular veto. No. But Helena gets called to the diary room. <laughs> and she gets a note and it says, this POV ceremony is not over. Oh my goodness. And then she said, somebody's got a secret power. And if they want to use it, they better use it now or yeah. it's donezo. Well, Moose and Summer got another opportunity to... To beg. ...plead their case. Mm -hmm. um, whatever. <laughs> it didn't matter because she didn't use it. Oh my God, so lame. And then Helena said, okay, the ceremony's complete. Bye. <laughs> so the power expired without being used. That's a bummer. I feel like that's a huge missed opportunity. That's like flushing money down the toilet. Yeah. But I guess she didn't want to get rid of Marty anyway. Well, really. they had that talk and they felt like you they could use Marty as a shield. Marty's not coming after Gino. But yes, guess what? He would put J.C. Lynn up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe it will come back to Can bite Can you imagine if she, like, leaves at the hand of Marty? That would be cool. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> the secret veto failure and that's it <laughs> all right well we have our two nominees uh moose and summer eviction night tomorrow we'll see what happens great <laughs> let us know your thoughts on this episode in the comments do you think that jc lynn should have used the secret power yes i say yes but yes, that's just queen. me yeah they put it there for a reason they tried to help you yeah all right. Well, anyway. More diary room effery. Yeah. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. We will see you next time. And until then, much, much love. love.